In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an HDR image in Photomatix Essentials from these three bracketed photos. First, select the bracketed photos. You can do this via drag and drop or by clicking on the Browse button. The list of thumbnails on the left shows the photos you just selected. The thumbnail on the right shows the effect of removing or adding a photo to the list when unchecking or checking its box on the left. To load the photos and merge them to HDR, click on the Next Adjust in Preview button. The next window lets you specify options for merging the photos. The three photos of the lighthouse were taken using a tripod, but we still check the Align Source Images option to correct for small alignment problems that may happen even with a tripod. If your scene includes removing objects or people, check the Remove Ghosts box. The image in the middle shows a preview of the final processed image. You can adjust the preview size using the magnifier icons on top. Try different presets to choose a style you like from the thumbnails listed. Clicking on a thumbnail shows the effect of the preset on the preview image. Balanced Photographic Natural Painterly Painterly 2 Painterly 5 Vibrant Enhanced Surreal Surreal 2 Grunge Creative Soft Soft 3 Monochrome Once you've found a preset you like, you can refine the effect by adjusting the settings on the left. Once satisfied with the adjustments, click Next, Finish and Save. Photomatix Essentials will align your photos, merge them, and apply the preset, tone, and color settings you adjusted. The image is now ready to save. We'll add a finishing touch before saving. As the image has been processed at full size, we can view it at 100% resolution. We add some sharpening. We add a bit of contrast to the image. To save the image, click Save and select a location. You can open the saved image in a photo editor of your choice. We select here the Windows Photo Viewer, which is installed by default on the OS. The final image now shows in Windows Photo Viewer. You can see other examples of images processed with Photomatix in the User Gallery at the HDRsoft website.